as we go through the day, we're training the mind. We, we may not be conscious of what kind of training we're doing, which is a problem. In other words, whatever habits you keep following again and again, you're training the mind in that direction. So you're training it toward your defilements or you're training it toward the Dharma. Because even though we may be sitting here meditating and the mind may be very quiet for a while when you leave, okay, that's one phase of training. But then when you leave, okay, what's the next phase? Are you going to go back and undo the work you did for the hour or are you going to try to maintain it? Because the mind keeps creating ruts for itself in terms of the habits that it creates. So create some good ruts in the mind, the ones that will lead you right past greed, right past aversion, right past illusion. And then keep practicing them as you go through the day. We don't think of our daily life as training usually, but that's what it is. It's like training a vine up a, a wall. Whichever direction we want it to go, okay, that's we bend it in that direction and it starts heading off in that direction. So look at how you're bending the mind. There's a one of the names of nirvana is the unbent, which is an unusual name, of course, but. What it means is that that's the point where the mind doesn't have any of these old habits. So until you get there, though, you want some good habits. And keep training it in good habits as you go through the day, as you leave the meditation, as you go down and have the meal. Remember, you're still training the mind. But the question, who's in charge of the training? Are you in line with the Buddha's triple training, which is virtue, concentration, and discernment, or are you in line with Mara's triple training, which is greed, aversion, and delusion. Remember, you're the one who makes the choice. <laughs>